There it is. I see it Okay. So welcome everybody. I appreciate you guys volunteering your afternoon to participate in this. Today I want to talk about, and hopefully you guys will learn a little bit about the Holocaust and one specific example, one specific part of the Holocaust. If you take a look up and you look at the aim, okay, that's what we want to talk about today. How did the Holocaust unfold all across Europe? Okay? Many people think that the Holocaust was secluded in one country in Europe, which is what? What country do you think of yeah. mostly? Germany. Yeah, you think about Germany, okay? The fact is, and we're going to see many examples of this today, is the Holocaust happened all over Europe. And we want to take a look at, did it have to happen? Okay, did it have to happen or could it have been prevented? Okay, if some people did something, if a country did something, could it not have happened? So, I asked you, I'm asking you to take a look at this picture, okay, and I've given you some questions. Does somebody want to start us off? All right, where do you think this photo was taken? Yeah, Crystal, start us off. It was probably taken in like um, a village or something. Okay, why? Why do you think that? Maybe like they tried to scare the people. Okay. Okay, somebody, yeah, Trevor, keep going. Is that the burning of books? Okay, I think it's the burning of books, it is. All right, then it was in a Jewish uh, community. Why? Didn't they burned the, then they burn, burn their books because they wanted to hide. Or okay, they definitely burned books. Yeah, Victoria, keep going. Good, Trevor. Keep going. The Germans were burning, they were burning the belongings of things that came from the Jewish people who were in their religion. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, books and culture that they didn't want them to see, right? Did you see, did Victoria take someone's answer? Somebody had a hand up, yes? No? Okay, yeah, keep going, Diane. Um, did they burn the Bibles of them? Of the um, does anybody know? Yes. Yeah, right? It's all about their culture, somebody said. Okay? Do me a favor. So that was excellent. Take a look, if you can. Take a step back from the burning of books, Trevor, which was excellent. What else do you see? If we were to pan out this picture, if we were to pan out this picture, okay? Uh, Crystal said it's probably a village, okay? Somebody describe something you see in that village that makes it a village. That's so Kayla, then Sierra. You would see a lot of people crowding around to see what's happening and a lot of buildings. Okay, you see buildings, you see people watching. What else could the, I saw some hands go down. Sierra, what else could you see about the people or something else? I was saying that it's just people watching, nobody's trying to stop it because they were scared, like if they thought the world would happen. Wow, you said a lot, okay? A lot of people watching and no one's trying to stop because they're scared. Victoria, hang on a second, because we didn't hear from Hosea. Adding on to that, I was going to say that the people were basically being bystanders to what was happening because they didn't as uh, she said, they didn't want to intervene because they didn't know what could happen to them. You know, I, I, I want to hit on that subject today. Who agrees with Victoria and Sierra? Who agrees 100% with what they said? The, uh, the non-Jews were scared. And if I do something, if I say something, then I'm going to get in trouble. Yeah, Mama do nice and loud. I think they were because they were just, like, they were just basically following what others were doing. So as, as it go on, they just became part of it. And that scaredness also, like, that scaredness drove them to becoming, like, Nazis. Nazis. Very good, very good. Well, they keep going. And then I think it's not only the Jews, and then the Jews, um, yeah, I think it was also some regular Germans, even if they had the belief system, because, um, you know, when it's not only just because if you're talking just one per, um, one group of people, that only that group of people is affected, because I think all the other non-Jews were also afraid because they knew that the majority of the majority of the politicians and the people in charge were going to anti-Semitism, and if they say anything against it. Even if the Jew, they're not Jewish, they would still be affected if they went against the um, norm. So even if you weren't Jewish, you were probably more affected because you couldn't speak your true mind if you will disagree with this because you could be targeted enough as being a Jew sympathizer and then you'd be good. Going against the norm, targeted. Yes, keep going. What do you got? Very good, Jose. I wouldn't necessarily say they were scared. Couldn't it be like an example of nationalism being proud from where they came from? So if one leader doesn't like Jews, then we should all not like Jews because 
and they were there for it. Like, so, so that, what they did there is like an example of nationalism showing like their love for their country and them as like a people. Wow. Wow. Nationalism, pride in your country? I'm thinking maybe this might be a step too far, right? And, and that's a term we've learned. Victoria, keep going. I disagree with that because... With who? With Sasha. Why? You don't know if those people were Jewish or not because when we learned about the Holocaust before, uh, you saw pictures where the Jewish people were standing there watching because they weren't allowed to do anything. And you want to answer back? Um, I don't know if everyone ever seen the movie The Book Thief, yeah. but this this same scene was reenacted in that movie and it was actually only Germans that were here because they reenacted this whole entire scene and um, the Jews had to hide, like they couldn't be anywhere around the place. They were, like in the camps, like, most of them, like, those were like all Germans. Those were like all Germans. No, that's fine. What would have happened if, so think about it. If these are all Germans, let's just say that's true. I mean, I never saw, I've heard of it. I never saw the book of the movie. If these are all Germans, what would happen? What might have happened? Look at the question up there. Could things have been different if a German stepped up? Yes. Kevin, no? Why not? Well, it would have been worse because maybe the um, the Jews would have got burned too, right? It's one of the other people. Okay. Uh, yeah, Carolyn here. I think if one Jew stepped up, like I said, with nationalism, I believe that others would follow. And then maybe the Holocaust would have unfolded a different way? Right. That we heard from is awesome. Kayla, do we hear from? Um, what do you got? Um, I know. that it would have made it worse because if one of them stepped up, if what's his name? Hitler. Hitler. If Hitler could influence thousands and thousands of people millions and millions. Millions and millions of people mm -hmm. to burn the Jews stuff, why wouldn't he just kill one person? making them shut up so he can influence Influence the rest to keep the Does this go? Are you going to answer along with uh, your nationalism comment? Um, Hang on, Victoria. I see you. I, I see you. Let's that finish up, okay? And then Victoria, and then you guys. All right. Go. I was going to say that if you were to step up, maybe there might have been a civil war, which was like a completely different approach. Between who? Between, a civil war between Jews and Germans might have happened. Okay, could the Jews? Okay. Yeah, Victoria? I do believe that if someone were to step up, that things would be different. Well, I mean, if one person were to step up in front of Hitler, then he probably would have cared and killed him anyway. But if that one person were to like inspire the other people, he felt that it was wrong, and things could have been different. Did people step up? Did people step up? Are we guessing or do we know? That's the second half of the lesson. We're going to see. Hang on, uh, Crystal, because we're going to move on. Jose, and then I think... Um, um, it, it won't just, if these have different, it, just, it needs more than just one person because, you know, peop, there have been people who have tried to stop things like these Holocaust, but, you know, they were silenced quickly because they couldn't get the war out fast enough to spread the message. But I think um, there was a saying that um, for even to triumph, good men must do nothing. And it's, no, I think no, that no, takes true no, because no. if, if people um, know that that even if um, Hitler tries to oppress these old people that say they like, don't spread, um, is, uh, people who try to spread like peace, but even if you uh, between these different um, ethnic groups and religious groups, if you still spread this world, I mean, how many he tries to keep you down, but you still come up and up, that it was it was spread just like wildfire, help um, you know little rebellions here and there, like uh, undermine them, and eventually you could you could prevent it. Interesting. All right, we're going to get to all of this. Trevor, finish us off so we can move on, okay? If one person nice and loud. If one person was able to get a group of people to come together and start a reform, I think it would be a more direct killing instead of a controlled one as the Holocaust came about to be. I mean, keep the that. Jews had nothing. And yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. To keep that thought in mind, okay? Did people step up? All right? So before we take a look at examples of these, not just in Germany, we said, around Europe, across Europe. I want you guys to take a look at this, okay? And take about two minutes to fill these in, okay? 
Crystal used the word she thinks this is a village, right? Crystal? Yeah. You thought that was a village, right? Okay, so how could this happen? Think about your sorry. Think about your village. Let's call it a village. Think about the community you live in. Okay? How could this happen? Imagine you going home and seeing this. Seeing not only books being burned, but people standing and watching. Who do you think those people are? What do you think their roles are in the community? Bystanders. Say it again. Bystanders. All right, they're definitely bystanders, right? Do you think they live in the community? Yeah, yeah it's their community. What? Yeah, most likely. So if we take a look at this handout, what I want to do is I want you guys to think about your community. Okay? Think about your community. Think about if you went home. You went off the subway, you got off the bus, and you see this happen. Okay, this is called the universe of obligation. Okay, and we're gonna do this for a reason really quickly. This, the universe of obligation is a circle of individuals and or groups for whom you feel responsible, whose rights you seek to protect, and whose injuries call for amends. Okay, so I want you to take a couple of minutes. There's four circles. Create your own universe of obligation. Who's closest to you? Okay? Who is closest to you in your group? Okay? What's the most important thing to you? Okay? In your life, what's the most important thing? Yeah. Family. Okay. Family. Okay? So Diana would put family in the middle circle. Okay? We're talking about communities. Okay? In your community your family might be the most important. What else? What else are you guys thinking as you're writing? Humans. Humans, okay. What else is the most important? Friends. I'm gonna, friends, okay. Friends might go someplace. What else? The environment, yeah. The, yeah. the outside environment, yeah. okay. Mother Earth? Yeah. Okay, Mother Earth, very good, yes sir? Who you are as a person, like Keep. your identity. Okay, identity, right? How important is that, yes? You, that is awesome. Your equal rights, your human rights, Sierra? Many. Okay. It's important. Hey, it's important. Yourself. Yourself. Taking care of yourself. I'm over here scrambling for an expo because you guys are thinking fantastic. Okay? What about, I'm thinking about me. My inner circle would be family. I think somebody said that. Work. Did anybody say work? No. That's very good because you guys are young. You don't have to think about work that much. Yes? School. School. There you go. Education. Education is very important these days. You guys know that. You know what else is important to me? What? Religion. Those? Religion. Yup. That's my third one. Family. Work. And work is almost like family, the amount of time we spend here. My religion. And, and those of you I've spoken to outside of the classroom, where did I spend most of my nights, what did I spend most of my, my nights doing during the winter? Here. Coaching my kids in basketball, okay? So that's important to me, okay? Outdoor activities. So if you think about your community, okay? Think about, does somebody want to add something else? Think about if suddenly, yeah, Trevor. I have better rates, I'll raise a woman. Very good, very good. Think about in your community like this, if suddenly I wasn't allowed to coach basketball because I was Jewish, okay? Coach Neil, we think you're great, but you know what? You're Jewish, we want nothing to do with you. Okay? Think about that. Somebody else, right? Other examples, we spoke about work. You're fired, you're Jewish. That's not right. Think that's not right. Friends, we said. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Friends, I don't want to be friends with you. Okay? Think about this image up here. Okay? You got your community. Okay? How did this, right? Backyard, trees. How did that, how did that turn into this? Oh, I wasn't looking for answers. Yeah, Diana, first of all. Say, say it louder. Evil and segregation. Evil and segregation. Beautiful. Jose? Um, something tragic has to happen. Like, um, I know in Germany, the economy tanked 
and you know it's hard to get money or even to feed your family. So with people not knowing what's gonna happen, if someone promises you the things you need, you probably just go along with it. It means it. Perfect. Camille? Like, and think about how drastic it has to be, right? I mean, it's okay to disagree, but to go from this peaceful backyard, it's a beautiful day, to go to this, I'm burning your boats. Let's go Kayla, Sierra, and then Victoria, then I want to show you a short video. Um, a powerful leader. Yes. Can do what? Keep going on that. Can influence people to do badly. Very good. And and I don't know, some of you haven't studied. Hitler was exactly that. Yeah. Hitler was exactly that. Kevin and then Victoria. Oh, thank like you. Yeah. Yeah. What he said? Yes. Like Expands, you said? Right. Yes. Okay. So, so like, the leader, they can manipulate you. And they tell you, they brainwash you. They tell you all these things are right, but they're really wrong. Mm -hmm. And then you start believing it. and. Yeah. And you wind up doing this in the center of the community, right? Sierra and then Victoria finishes them. When your rights get killed, Loud. Loud. When, like, when your rights get violated basically and you're not treated equally. Mm -hmm. Very good. Right. Victoria and Kiara, I love the enthusiasm. Go. Keep going. Don't just say that. What about it? Put it in the sentence. Discrimination and oppression. Oh, how can it go from this to this? So expand on that. What do you mean by that? Kiara, finish us off. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like Victoria said, dehumanization. And it's like a domino effect. It only takes, I think it only takes one person to knock down another, and that creates a domino effect. Wow. Which means enough to end on that, because I'd love to hear your thoughts. Take a look at this video before I show you guys, before you guys come up, read and then come up, about examples of different communities breaking down. Do you think there could have been anything worse in a community than burning boats? Yes. yes. All over Europe, you think so? Yes. Stay tuned, let's see. Let me show you this, what I think is a powerful video, and I hope it works. Because you know me. Some were neighbors, and among them was some of the people who went to school with, some of his best friends, the guys from the car club. And out of that crowd came a friend of my father. We were friends, I thought. This was a boy that grew up with me for 16 years. And he could do something like this. And that was my best friend. They were neighbors. The furniture and the glass was all in, sh in, in shadows. Everything was, my father's butcher store, the, the window was broken in and everything was demolished. And this was done by young people who we knew. After the Holocaust, many survivors recognized the roles of Adolf Hitler and other true believers. Ideological hardliners who supported the Nazi party early on and who viewed Jews as biologically inferior. But how could so many ordinary fellow human beings, even people they knew, have betrayed them, taken pleasure in their persecution, benefited in some way from their misfortune? Before the Holocaust, Jewish life in Europe was diverse. In some places, especially in Central and Western Europe, many Jews were integrated into the larger society through school, the workplace, and other settings. In Eastern Europe, many of the millions of Jews who lived there resided in predominantly Jewish communities, meeting non-Jews through business and the marketplace. After the Nazis took power in Germany, the new regime's goal was to deprive Jews of their rights and livelihoods and force them to leave the Reich. During World War II, Germany conquered and directly ruled vast areas of Eastern Europe. 
the marking and isolation of Jews from non-Jews were first steps toward their destruction. German-ruled Eastern Europe became the main terrain for the mass murder of Jews by Germans and their collaborators, including many Jews who lived far away in countries allied with or occupied by Germany, whom collaborating police often assembled for transport to the east. One of the nastiest memories I have look how old he is, in the is getting going on that journey and people were lined up up the stairs up to the door of the apartment waiting to ransack whatever we left behind uh, cursing at us, yelling at us, spinning at us as we left the Holocaust would not have happened without centuries of the longest hatred, prejudices, discrimination, and attacks on Jews and Jewish property. Jews were a religious minority in largely Christian Europe. Other pressures and motives, ones that affect individuals in less extreme circumstances, also came to the fore. Fears and pressures in school, work, and the community. Roles as students, teachers, workers, police, soldiers, neighbors, friends. Influence their choices to go along with their peers or to defer to authority, even when they had some moral qualms. This is the real truth. That was my girlfriend. We used to go to her together, have fun together, live together before the, the, uh, the last test, uh, before the graduation. We were studying together for nights and nights and she did it to me, to us, to my family. Many individuals also succumbed to pressures, risks, and age-old temptations. While it might be comforting to think that people were simply forced to do what they did, or that they were even brainwashed, Examples of individuals who did help those in danger prove that people did have choices, even in the face of great risks and temptations. So Leo had a great deal of um, our possession at that point. And we went to Leo for food. Now I must impress upon you as the, to the character of Leo. Leo already had all the stuff that he could ever get from us, except maybe for some land. And all he had to do is tell us to get lost, and he would have never seen us again. He never did. He fed us all along. I should have made that, how did the Jews feel? Okay? Your community. Hitler comes in, all right? Jews are no good, right? Jews can't go to school with you anymore. Jews can't sit on park benches with you anymore. You can't talk to Jews, all right? You can't go to school with them. I can't coach my basketball team. My son can't be on the basketball team, okay? Put yourselves in the roles of being a Jewish person for a couple of seconds, just, in, just long enough to answer that question. How do the Jews feel? One word, just, just what comes to your mind, right? Give me a word, Victoria. Betrayed. Betrayed. Chris, what took your answer? What do you got, Endel? Hurtful. Hurtful. Yeah. Confused. I like that. Confused. What's going on, right? You're my girlfriend. We studied together. Excellent, Tristan. What else? Sad. Go. Upset. Yeah, mad. Upset. Depressed. Outcast. Outcast. Angry. Angry, right? Hey, I'm not taking this. You're my best friend. Get out of here. They probably felt weak. Weak. Powerless to do something almost? I added another word. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Devastated. Took your word. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Let's take a look at six more, five more communities throughout Europe. Okay? I already gave two groups. Well, I am going to show you what I want you guys to do. I apologize. It's the... Uh, sticky tape on top, okay? Remember we said, did the Holocaust happen just in Germany? No. no. Guys? Oh, no. no, it didn't, right? So, what I would like for you to do, I'm not going to go down to the top of the city. Okay? 
We are going to do. Look, everybody, will get a marker. We are going to deconstruct the photo. It's called very simply. Okay, deconstructing a photo. Okay, so this is a photo I gave you. What photo I want to show you? Whoops. Each group has a piece of chart paper and a photograph. Okay, you're going to take your marker. Thanks, Victoria. You're going to give the location on the chart paper, right? Around the picture, under, on top, where in Europe. And a brief description of what's going on. Then you guys will all come up. Okay? Victoria, thank you. And the rest of the groups will I'll give you what to take notes on. So, let's, let's do one together. All right? Whoops, whoops. Somebody, what do you see here? This would be an example. I saw Crystal. Um, it looks like they're trying to get water to drink or something. Okay. Somebody, don't worry about the, the chart, we'll do it in a second. Sierra? It looks like somebody's inside of them and they have them to shoot. Okay, you say them, you say scrambling water. Specifically, who is that? Zeus. Okay, you're both talking about the Jews. Yeah. Oh. While you're looking at this, building on what Sierra and Crystal said, Remember we said, if you broaden the lens, if you zoom out, does that help? Can you take a guess? Yes. Yeah. Trevor, does that help? What do you think? It's a crowd of people watching Jews do their punishment. Oh. Like their punishment. Yeah. So basically, there was, there was like people who stepped up and said what they had to say and this is the punishment. So you think these Jews stepped up and they're being punished? It's interesting because we didn't say that they were being punished. Trevor mentioned it and Sierra agrees. Yeah. Is it necessarily a punishment, Victoria? Uh, I was going to say what? that they were maybe already in the camps and that's only in the water or something like that. It's interesting. I didn't mention that before. Crystal, finish this off and I'll show you what's going on here. Um, most likely it's like those people are like, um, not Jewish and they're watching the Jews like fix the roads and stuff or like clean it. First of all, here we are. Right, we're in Vienna, Austria. Okay, it's not Germany. Another country of Europe. Had World War II started yet? No. World War II hasn't started yet. Here's what's, here's what's going on. Somebody want to read that? Yeah, then. Hitler Youth members got by an adult large Jewish court to scrub the pavement, one of many anti Semitic, Semitic acts following the German annexation of Austria. Okay. The Jews are forced to scrub the sub sidewalk. This is fun. We have power over the Jews. Power over the Jews, okay? Now look, if you guys can see here, they're holding hands. Okay? So, what could that mean? The Okay. Uh, Alright. Alright, remember who we think the Jews are and who aren't. Right? They're holding hands. Uh, Kayla. Oh, oh, okay. I was gonna say it's a barrier. Stop them from preventing them from stopping. Preventing maybe people from coming in. But you could be right, right? And look, you got little kids here, right? You got little kids here. Okay. Okay. So that's what I would like you guys to do. So take a look at your picture. All right. Take take a couple of minutes. Yeah, right on the chart paper. So when you guys come up, okay? I gave you a little summary. All right. Um, you, Victoria gave everybody markers. All right, do exactly what we just did, okay? Where is it taking place? What's going on? Yeah, stand up guys, go to a wall if you want. However you want to go. Yeah. 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 Ye
I know I gave you a lot of information, but we're going to have the other groups guess what's going on before you tell them. Yeah, location and description. Right? We said you guys came up with the answers that it didn't just take place in Germany. So what country and what's going on? Summer, Put in your own words. It doesn't have to be a fancy summary. Kevin, I feel like you're trying to do something. <laughs> when you guys are done, I'm going to ask you to stand there and cover your chart before you explain, because I want the other group to try to guess from the picture. I'll put on the smart board. Okay? Good job working together, guys. I hear you. Doesn't have to be a lot, right? <laughs> These were communities. Communities all over Europe. Big, small, whatever country. I love the discussions going on here. Wow. You don't have to write that much, just to be able to explain it to me. Save that question. Save that question for you. Okay. Alright, that's a great question. We almost done, guys? Great discussion. Almost too much discussion. Wow. Okay, so. I'm going to put it on the smart before it's Say there, say, you know what's, can you say that? Yeah. Say that. One group's done, what else? Put it down, don't let anybody read it. Right? What? If you have questions, ask the group. Right? Oh, that's the picture. That's all that means, photo credit. Alright, if you guys are done, try to take it down or cover it, because I don't want the rest of the groups to know. Let's try to guess it first. Thanks, guys. And then you put it right back up. Who's on? 
we got two groups done. Okay, are we finishing up, guys? Okay, just take it down. I right, just cover it. Right. Leave it on your, uh, put it face down on your desk. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see who's first. I had I Okay, everybody is, guys, really, really great discussion and group work. Okay, so everybody had a different community. Okay, you remember the film we saw? Okay, put yourself in the place of Jews. Suddenly, Jews aren't wanted. Those one word, betrayal, brainwash, angry, awesome. So let's go through some of these other communities. All right? Um, I'm going to have this group come up. Oh, you have this in front of you? Yeah. Deconstructing, deconstructing the photos. Just take notes as the other groups are presenting, please. Okay? So, group one, before you come up, where was group one? Right here? Okay, so group one, don't say anything. Everybody else, somebody take a guess. All right, before group one tells us exactly what's going on over there. Ooh, Crystal, what do you got? Um, like an, um either Nazis or um, just people taking out um, people's um, furniture and they're at the moment. More specific, who are the people taking Jewish. out taking, taking out Jews' furniture? I saw Victoria next. Um, Okay, abandoning, that's interesting, right? Abandoning, not being kicked out. Yeah, Kayla. I was saying if they were trying to save their furniture instead of letting them burn to pieces. So these are Jews? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Group one, come on up. Come on up. Yeah. Tell us exactly what's really going on and see how close we came. So. You want to read it? You want to talk about it? Whatever, however you want to do it. How close were we? Um, the location of the Holocaust, 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 well, I'm sorry. Where are the Jews? Where were the Jews? In the concentration camp. Okay, that's right. They were deported. They're on their way to the concentration camp. Group one, what's going on in the picture? Um, the, the non-Jews are taking property out of where the, the Jews live. Yeah. Guys, let that settle for a couple of seconds because it has to settle for me. This is a ghetto. The Jews are gone. Jews are on their way to Auschwitz, Treblinka, Medanik, wherever. These are non-Jews. Huh. Free furniture. Okay. All right. Jews gone. Free furniture. He was my friend. She, he or she was my teacher. My doctor. Okay. Very good, guys. Thank you. Now, lift up. Lift up. Lift up. You can clap it. Group two. And what do we see? Rest of the group. Don't worry about filling in the info, we'll get there, right? Group two, okay, we're talking about communities. Okay, you're Jewish, Hitler came in. Kevin, what's going on? So, I'm guessing I see, uh, I see a German, like, watching the streets to see if any Jews are coming. And, you know. Who's the German, up here? Both of them. Both of them? Yeah. Okay, what? You're keeping the streets clear from Jews? Okay, yeah. A abandoned, run down Jewish community that's now being like, supervised by the Germans. Interesting, okay. So we got two answers. Two people think they're Germans. Somebody want to counter that? Crystal does. Um, maybe that's like a shop that was owned by a Jewish person. And they're like, um, probably taking down stuff and closing up the shop. Okay. Can we guess where the Jewish person might have gone? Say loud. He probably. Okay. Whatever you think. Group two, tell us what's really going on, or how close we were. You can put it up there on the window if you want. Wherever you want to stand. 
Whatever you want. Whatever you want. You should call me. Right, right. Just don't block the smart board. How close we don't get? Don't cover. How close through? Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, this um, is a photo of the man on the ladder here. Well, where are you, first of all? This is um, Ber Berman, Germany. Yeah, Berman, Germany. Okay, so we're in Germany. 1933. The man is called Joseph, and he's um, the owner of this bicycle shop. He's Jewish. This little girl is his daughter. And the man over here is a customer who later killed Joseph's wife, or helped kill Joseph's wife, during an event which we cannot pronounce because I, we cannot read German. That's okay. Th that's okay, but that's interesting, and a lot of you guys looked at me. Say that again. What did the man on the sidewalk do? Who was he and what did he do? He later helped um, kill Joseph's wife, who, who Joseph and his family are Jewish. Yeah. He's non-Jewish. He was a non-Jewish customer. He was a customer, yeah. right? He was a customer, right? He was a friend. He was a friend. And later on, he sold out his Jewish store owner, right? And led to his death and his wife, right? Doesn't, or just of the wife. Or just of the wife, okay? So they're posing for a picture together, and later on, that guy would have him killed. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Communities, communities, what if you guys went home and suddenly you weren't allowed to talk to the Jews? How could this happen? How could this happen? Could it have been stopped? Group three, I think this is unbelievable, this one. This one shocked me when you brought in the land. This is an exhibit at the Holocaust Museum. And how they do it is wonderful. They start with a zoom in, and then they pan out. So, group three knows what's going on. Somebody else, some other people, what do you see? Yeah? Um, they're probably Okay. Yes. Uh, I think it's a Jewish person that was hiding because it looks like it's from like an apartment, like, like a house. Why? How many of you guys saw that? How many of you guys saw that? She's got it. I mean, I, I didn't see it right away. You, you, Victoria hit it right on the head. Somebody's in hiding from across the street while they're having their morning tea, afternoon tea. But there's more. Kevin, that's oh, that's great. Well, they, or I'm done. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get it right away. That's great. What else, Kevin? A non-Jew probably took that picture to show like all the other non-Jews to see to show like where the Jews were hiding so they can capture them and like put them into place. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we agree that the Jews are being assembled? Yeah. Okay, I see more along this line. I see you, Crystal, I see you. I, I, no, I'm gonna call you now. I'm, I'm enjoying looking at everybody focusing. Crystal, what else? Um, the person that took this picture was probably a non-Jew that was watching the Jews down there, like probably have to take their stuff out of the homes. That, that's probably an apartment or something. That's exactly what's going on, right? They're taking their stuff out of the homes. You go back to group one, right? They're being assembled. They're being taken away. This is probably what's gonna happen. Okay, Kevin? Is this old?